Welcome back. So for this power mini skirt, I started off with these materials and let's get started. So I took my pattern paper and put it aside so that I can measure my waist, get my waist measurement and then divide it in half in order to make the waistband. So about how I'm making the waistband is I'm using the 13 inch measurement across to draw a straight line across and then a straight line under it parallel to it that's also 13 inches and then matching them up two inches apart. So that's what you see there. So you're just making a rectangle the half length of your waist measurement and whatever width you want your waistband to be once it's folded in half. So I'm taking that 13 inch measurement and then dividing it by two to make a 13 and three quarters length skirt and I just freehand drew it and put a place on fold on it. So then I'm gonna place the skirt pattern on fold as well as the waistband pattern on fold so that when I cut them out, they're full length, as you can see here. Then I'm gonna take the skirt pattern and cut it out again off of fold and just cut it on fabric so that there are two halves of it. So then I'm gonna cut darts into my front skirt pattern so that I can pinch them, pin them, and then sew them down and have darts in my front pattern, as you can see. So then I'm just going to sew the darts down and this is how it's going to look. So far we have a front skirt piece with two darts in it. All right, next step. So we're gonna take these two halves that we cut and mark darts in them again. And I'm doing it with Sharpie this time instead of cutting because I didn't feel like getting the scissors. So it's the same exact thing. And then we're gonna pinch it, pin it, and then make sure it's the same length as the front. Mine were seven inches long. And you wanna make sure that it's the same length when you are sewing the darts. So that's why I marked it with marker. <laughs> Of course, I'm just sewing the darts down the same exact way. Now we're going to take our two skirt back halves and place them on the front skirt piece, right sides facing each other, meaning correct sides facing each other. And we're gonna pin down the curves of the skirts where we've matched them and sew them all down the curves. And the straight sides should be in the middle because that's where our, our zipper is gonna go. So we're sewing down the curve of the skirt so that when we open it up, we have this piece and now it's all one. So at this point, we are going to install the waistband by folding it over in half and then placing it on the skirt full length skirt that we have now pinning it down and then we're just going to sew it together and when we open it up it's going to look like this and the facing will be inside so that it is a clean edge with a nice waistband looks good right so in order to do the zipper section we are going to fold it over at the back opening pin it down and baste it, meaning a loose stitch that we can open later. Then we're gonna place the zipper on the basted area and then sew the zipper down for real. So this will be sewn together. Now you see how you basted it and the zipper is inside once you turn it inside out. Now we're gonna cut the basting open so that we can reveal the zipper. Do you get it? Because now once the basting is cut open, this uh, stitching should be facing the zipper and when we zip it and unzip it, it's sewn together. And I don't have a zipper foot so that's why mine wasn't attached all the way down. But that's what it should be and once you're done you'll have this, the final result. You can hem it or not. Obviously the um, one in the American Apparel website wasn't hemmed because it was vinyl. So that's it. Thanks for watching.